Hume and Kant are both 18th century philosophers. Hume predates Kant. Um, and one of the things that Hume is famous for is an argument to show that uh, we can't have knowledge of what he calls causal connections, which is to say we can't have knowledge of the causal links, the cause-effect connections between events. One of the things that Kant is famous for is giving an answer to Hume's critique of causality. So, first of all, the, the difference between, between a, a connected and a disconnected series of experiences. Um, example of a disconnected one would be something like, um, I'm here at a rare area campus and then the next moment I'm at the state capitol. And the reason that's disconnected is because there's nothing in between the two experiences or the two events that links them together. And here's what I mean by linking them together. Take the case of a, a connected series of experiences. So for instance, say I let go of an object and then it's on the ground. Those are connected in the sense that the second event, the object on the ground, uh, was at least apparently caused by the first event, letting go of the object. Hume's claim is that you can't discover the actual links between the events, that in either of those cases, the ones that are apparently connected and the ones and, and this sequence of ones that apparently aren't, in either case, all you have are discrete, disconnected events that just happen to come side by side in time. Kant agrees with Hume to this extent. Both of them say that you don't actually have anything like a sensory experience of the link between the events. You see something, you see something else, you see something else, etc. Um, and they also both agree on this. They'll both say that even if the sort of raw data that you're experiencing is such that the events are apparently disconnected. They both agree that the mind will spontaneously or automatically connect up the events. So if I had an, uh, an experience where I was here, say, on a campus, and then the next thing I know I'm at the state capitol, they both agree that our minds would fill in events between those two events in order to link up the two experiences. Specifically, my mind would fill in between those two events a series of causally connected events that would then hold together the entire series. The difference though is this. What Hume would say is, sure, your mind fills in the gap between the two events and so you always interpret uh, events as though they are causally related. But Hume would say, that doesn't mean the events are in fact causally related, that just means you interpret them that way. Kant's innovation is to say this, there are certain interpretations that your mind brings to its experience that actually make the world what it is. That is, there are certain interpretations that come from your mind, but they are nevertheless part of the world even though they're originating in your mind. Mm-hmm.